Hey, this is how I service um, the controller port. Um, so obviously the battery is like the most common thing. So I use my desoldering gun to hit three pieces. So then these are pretty cheap. Like we get a basket of them or bag of them, like of 10 for like four or five bucks. So it has three prong just like the original. Like you really can't screw it up, honestly. So flux and just a bit. Obviously the most common uh, mod to do. Uh, there's a capacitor on here. I'll take that off right now. Just like with all capacitors, remember there's a white stripe on one side, and there's usually an indicator of the negative, so you see it on the board here. So you see how that's going in. So we got these. Then the next thing that you do on here, there's a fuse. So sometimes you'll be, you'll get a Dreamcast. You hear about, oh no, my Dreamcast, uh, the control, the controllers are broken, or the control port doesn't work, or the control port doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, this is a fuse right here. This blue piece. It even says F1 on the board. Kind of see, I got bad lighting. F1. So, we're going to take that off. This is our new resettable fuse. Uh, it's like a poly something fuse. Uh, it's what everyone keeps using. Uh, you can buy these in kits also on eBay. I don't know about uh, one or if I've got to only do like one, I'll buy a kit on eBay with all the controller port stuff. But if I'm going to do a bunch, which is what's going to end up happening soon, uh, I'm probably going to want to buy like 30 or 40 at a time or something. So. Should have used flux, but it'll buff out. So the last thing to do is to do Voltar's new method of. Uh, apparently, you don't want to use a not that, but uh, it's like the ML twenty thirty twos. Because yeah, I'm not gonna lie; those are kind of getting hard to get. Uh, they're getting really expensive too. Um, so I guess his method, uh, starting to make, like, at first when I saw it, I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, why do I do that? Because the other Dreamcasts I've, you know, done this to and sold, they had ML32 battery. Um, so here's the cheaper batteries, right? The CR2032, the disposable ones. Um, as far as that goes, uh, here's a resistor in the kit I got, uh, which is the one that's going to go here and that Shotsky diode. So here's the thing. Um, 
if you get the bat 85 that's that's the brand that's the shot ski you want uh, i bought this one uh is literally a packet of 100 of them so i'm gonna have enough forever it's like seven bucks or six bucks and it got here in like a week or two and i've bought i bought chanzon uh i've bought items from them before i bought power supply bricks i've bought uh you know and i've used that for scart switches and P pico psus and stuff so this is i mean this is a good brand like this is this is not some chinese bullshit like it's a legit brand uh, first thing to do is take this resistor off <laughs> thing um we could prepare this ahead of time yeah we can do that so the black end is gonna go it's gonna fit in like try to hold it this is how this is how it's gonna go in and that's ultimately what we want to achieve so uh let me cut it so we're going to cut it out here. I'm going to put one end. In here. There's good. That's fine. for now. Just like I said, goes... Mm. All you gotta do now is just get these together and cut them. I mean, which I mean, it's kind of together there. There's plus sign and there's plus sign. Bam. And that is how I service controller ports.